Welcome to Crypto Market News. Today I thought it would be a good chance to take a look at the difference between Siacoin and Storagecoin. Both of them sort of jousting for a position as the dominant player in decentralized cloud storage solutions. So we'll take a look. First of all, Storagecoin is a little bit older, uh, much more volatile over that time, and uh, it is definitely a lot more expensive. And on that note, you can see that the current available supplies is, is 50 million, and we're looking at eventually another 450 million being injected uh, into this available supply. That would be hammering at the price of this coin, uh, as well as the speculators selling out. So uh, we believe this is possibly pretty expensive at this time. Now, taking a look at Siacoin. Uh, not as uh, old of a coin, but is definitely uh, running on its one year anniversary here. And we can see the price is really quite low. And we need to point out justifiably that there's 18 billion uh, in the current supply. However, there's none in the bank here that are going to get injected into this supply. So you really know what you're working with and it's really just the uh, the market uh, forces that are going to determine the price of this coin so we see both the price being very low and the wide open known supply dictating that price right now being uh, very positive for growth in Psycoin. also for Psycoin, you can take a look here and see that they're on the chinese exchange yumbi not exactly at massive volumes. It never hurts to have a solid presence uh, in China for these industries. And you can see this website for Sciacoin does translate into uh, several different languages, uh, which uh, we cannot say that about storage. So that might explain the massive difference in the volumes with Sciacoin looking fantastic. Not bad volumes for storage, but uh, given its sort of high price, we're quite worried about something uh, tanking here in the near future. Both uh, offer users to uh, get started right now. And with Sycoin, you'd be downloading this highly user-friendly interface app to interact with uh, your files and also for hosting looks great very user friendly uh, on the storage side of things it's all done through logging in onto a website instead of a, an app that runs on your computer and uh, I have created what's called a bucket and this is what I have to get through to add files to that bucket they are in beta but I'm just uh, much preferring to look at something like this at this time Cost to use is a huge difference. We're looking at Psycoin, $2.25 per terabyte per month. Uh, the storage cost is looking like it is uh, per terabyte, that would be $15 per terabyte per month. That's 6.6 .6 times more expensive than Sia. And just to put things into perspective, Amazon, their standard option here, is thirty dollars per gig uh, per terabyte uh, per month so Sciacoin is obviously very very cheap according to what they have on their website it is extremely cheap so chalk it up again for Sia. the other side of things if you want to uh, donate your space uh, we haven't experienced it but apparently you'll make less money uh, hosting your storage space for others to use you make less money on Sycoin than on the storage system, but again, you're paying six times more to store anything to begin with. So we're detecting users will gravitate towards a much more user-friendly price. Sycoin again taking another point for being mineable. The coin itself is mineable, whereas unfortunately the storage X tokens are not mineable. We definitely prefer this sort of situation. Developers can expect to have uh, good access to documentation for building apps in both cases. Uh, this actually, on the storage side, looks a little bit more thorough. 
And that brings us to discuss the overall prospects for these cryptocurrencies. Uh, since this is a comparison, crypto market news absolutely has to uh, side with the market in this case. Uh, there's a reason we're seeing quite a bit more volume with Siacoin than storage. We're looking at a better developed, a better standing economically and uh, more accessible uh, cloud storage solution through Siacoin that has uh, more of an international presence. To quickly finish, we can actually take a look at a point of reference, taking a look at available supply. Um, Ripple, you could possibly compare Saya to Ripple has 35 billion supply and Ripple is a whole order of magnitude uh, more expensive than Saya coin. Possibly as another sort of frame of reference, uh, a better coin here at 9 billion supply. Again, an order of magnitude more expensive than Saya coin at this point. This 18 billion sitting right in between those two. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Steam so you don't miss our coverage of this awesome cryptocurrency.